photo by Grant Halverson, Getty Images, it all comes down to this. The Texas Tech basketball team is just 40 minutes from completing one of the most unexpected national title runs in college sports history. But standing in the Red Raiders' way is a 36-3 Virginia Cavalier team. The regular season ACC champs have put together a fantastic season after suffering the humility of being the first ever no. One seed to lose to a number 16 seed a year ago. Now, they believe they are a team of destiny ready to author the ultimate story of redemption. The Cavs have suffered losses to just two different teams this year falling to Duke twice in the regular season and Florida State in the semifinals of the ACC tournament. Along the way, they picked up wins over Wisconsin, Maryland, North Carolina and a pair of wins over both Louisville and Virginia Tech helping them to earn a no. One seed in the NCAA tournament again this year. In the tournament, they picked up double-digit wins over Gardner Webb and number 9 seed Oklahoma in the opening weekend. They then knocked off no. 12 seed Oregon by 4 points in the Sweet 16 and no. 5 seed Purdue 80-75 in a classic overtime game in the Elite 8 that required the Cavs to hit a buzzer beater to extend the game. And their string of close games continued in the final four as they outscored Auburn 6-1 in the final 10 seconds of play to pull out a dramatic 63-61 win. Now, they are also entertaining thoughts of bringing home the program's first national title. Want your voice heard? Join the Rackham Red team. Write for us. ESPN.com's matchup predictor gives Uva a 69% chance of winning but that should not concern Red Raider fans who have seen their team defy ESPN's prediction in each of the last two games. So let's take a look at the Cavs and find out how they stack up with the Red Raiders. Next, another Elite Defense Page 2, photo by Tom Pennington, Getty Images, stop me if you've heard this before but Texas Tech will be facing one of the nation's top defenses tonight. After taking on the number 2 scoring defense in the nation, Michigan, in the Sweet 16 and the No. 33 scoring defense, Michigan State, in the Final Four, Tech now has to deal with the top scoring defense in the nation. Virginia allows just 55.5 points per game on average and has held its opponents below 70 points in all but four games this year. And in the KenPalm.com adjusted defensive efficiency rankings, UVA ranks fifth overall allowing just 88.7 points per 100 possessions. The Tony Bennett's team has similar stats to Texas Tech on the defensive end, they go about it in a different way. Much like Michigan, Virginia prefers to play straight-up man-to-man defense while trying to keep the ball in front of the defender rather than trying to force the ball to one side of the court like the Red Raiders do. And Virginia is far less apt to switch ball screens than the switch-everything Red Raiders. Their plan has proven to be effective as the Cavs rank fifth in the nation in field goal percentage defense. They allow teams to shoot just 38.4% from the field and 39.3% from three-point range. Fortunately, Tech has been able to find enough offense to beat tough Michigan State and Michigan defenses. Though they averaged just 62 points per game in their two games against the Michigan schools, they were able to surpass the scoring average allowed by both elite defenses. Hopefully, they can do that again tonight against yet another stingy defense. Next, a pedestrian offense page 3, photo by Tom Pennington, Getty Images While the Cavaliers are elite defensively, the same can't be said about their offense. Scoring just 71.1 points per game, they rank just 218th in the nation. But their offensive is extremely efficient coming in at number 3 in Ken Pomeroy's adjusted offensive efficiency rankings by scoring 122.6 points per 100 possessions. That suggests that their low scoring average is essentially be design. Choosing to play at the slowest pace of any team in the nation, Uva trusts that it can grind out close wins because they trust their ability to protect the ball and make certain that each possession ends in a decent shot, preferably late in the shot clock. 
As a team, the Cavaliers shoot 40.9% from three-point range and each of their top three scorers all shoot over 40% from deep. They are led by Kyle Guy who averages 15.6 points and 3.1 three-pointers per game. The 6'2", junior is a crafty player who needs virtually no space to get his jump shot off as was evidenced by the contested corner three he hit in the final seconds against Auburn. Meanwhile, 6'7", Andre Hunter scores 14.9 points and grabs 5 rebounds per game. Expected to be a first-round NBA draft pick this summer, Hunter is a capable outside shooter at 42% from behind the arc but her prefers to get his offense by going to the bucket. Finally, junior guard Ty Jerome averages 13.5 points per game while dishing out 5.4 assists. Coming off back-to-back 20-point -back games, Jerome has knocked down four threes in each of Virginia's last two games. While this is far from an elite offense, it is an efficient offense. Tech will be challenged in a completely different way tonight as Uvo will look to slow things down and play a slower pace than even the Red Raiders play. Whereas most teams try to speed up the Texas Tech defense to get easy looks in transition, Virginia wants to play a game similar to a ball control football team and rely on its experienced playmakers to come up big in the clutches they did in both the Elite Eight and Final Four. Next, rebounds and turnovers page 4, photo by Hannah Fazleen, Getty Images, we will stick with our analysis of rebounds and turnovers because, we'll, this is the last game of the year so why chance now? And because those two stats are so critical to the Red Raiders. And in each category, Virginia does a solid job. More from Rackham Red grabbing 5 more boards per game than their opponents the Cavs rank no. 31 in the nation in rebounding margin. They also grab 53.9% of available rebounds, 18th most in the nation. But they do not have a ton of size inside and as a result, they lack a dominant individual rebounder. All five starters average over four boards per game meaning they do a good job of cleaning up the glass as a collective unit. And when it comes to taking care of the ball, they are the best in the nation. Averaging just 8.9 turnovers per game, they do not waste many opportunities on offense by being sloppy with the ball. But that is also likely a product of their slow pace because the fewer possessions there are in a game, the fewer opportunities there are for turnovers. And Tech's defense has been able to force turnovers from even the most contentious teams as was the case against Michigan, which is second in the nation in fewest turnovers per game but gave it up 14 times against the Red Raiders. Next, Tech tough to handle on a short turnaround This does not feel like a game that should have an unusually high rebounding margin or turnover number from either team. Rather, the more important factor will be the timing of Thesis turnovers and rebounds as the team that is able to make plays in the clutch will be the one that cuts down the nets.